All right, guys. We're back. back. We have an interesting match today. So this is this is California Region Two, the finals. This is the, the finals one, two, and three. We're gonna be doing all three today. And now the Red Alliance is very expected. You have Power Beans right as the first seed with Bark Bots. Now I think everyone can can expect this alliance. But on the blue lines, we have the fifteenth seed, Heavy Metal Rush and Garage Productions. Right. So this is gonna be a very very interesting uh, finals matches because these this blue alliance. Uh, came up from 15th seed, beating teams such as Double Play, Saratoga, and 1095R, right? So they really have something that they're doing right. So we'll find it out in this match. Now, af after auto, let's pause real quick. So after auto, what do you see, Liam? You see that red actually uh, has an amazing autonomous routine to actually hit, right? Per pretty much perfectly? Well, I would say I would say the negative side, I mean, that's, that's the most important thing. And you see from blue, they have a nearly full goal with the other one in their pre-roller. So they're like set up to very quickly get that positive corner. Whereas red, they don't have enough rings on the positive side in order to fill up their goal. So they're actually going to have to go on the negative side, which can put them at risk of, of not getting their positive corner. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So, I mean, even though red won auto here, we can suspect blue having a little bit better of a starting position. What one thing you have to do consider is that this blue alliance has no wall state mech. It's just a like a, this is like a pretty much start of the season robot. Am I correct on this? They have no, no, it is. Mech. It's their Mall of America robot. This is their Mall of America robot. That's the very first signature event, very first tournament of the year in in, in America. So they're pulling up after a whole like nine months, right? With the pretty much robot from the summer so you can see it definitely is not performing super well right now but they're gonna be able to make that play so what i noticed here is that their alliance partner does a great job of i mean they just stole that goal away from from the red alliance there but they did, they did a great job of you know playing that early early offense on the on the red alliance there and making sure that they can't really be be doing like they can't really be getting that their own swap off right but then their teammate unfortunately kind of gives their positive corner away but this is kind of a this is kind of a crazy play that, that this uh this team did down here. I think that's uh that's Crash Productions. You saw them just do that swap with the blue goal and the red goal there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Overall, very clean matches. So from what I've heard of some of you guys say, you guys wanted me to play the match itself and then go back and do analysis, which which we will do. We'll just commentate over what's happening right now and then we'll, then we'll go back. So I mean, these two teams are just playing an amazing uh like collaborative uh, effort right here. They're super. Wait, that was that, that was totally a DQ, was it not? Yeah, it should have been. They it was they they did touch it I think multiple times. Yeah, no, they untipped that goal, right? Which changes the scoring uh scoring the scoring of that goal, right, while they while they pushed it. So that should have totally been a DQ for the blue lines. But however they did not catch the refs did not call that a DQ, which is all right, that's fine. But you know, you can still you can still win this match. Like we still win this best of three, right? Because even if you lose the first match, you still have two more chances to come back. So it's for, it's yeah. for the red lines. I mean, red just has a, a really bad positive corner as well. That's either two or three rings on that goal. Yeah. I mean, they do have wall stakes, but still, that puts them at a huge disadvantage. But there's a full negative goal in that negative corner he's right now for red lines. So yeah, that also puts them at a huge disadvantage. Uh, that's that's a good observation, Liam. Good job. That's an amazing observation. Don't get, your, don't get your goal in the negative corner because it's bad. Right. Next up, though. So we will be looking at the more minute details. So right away, you know, the Red Alliance here is such a good... Uh, you know, these, guys, these guys are super good at driving, right? Been so much experience this season. So right away, you can see that thing that's... Uh, is that BarkBots? Mm, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's BarkBots. You see the, the, the very uh, numberish yeah, yeah. lights. But yeah. Very quick, uh, very quick, very, very quick corner there. I think that's four rings or three rings. So they have pretty much a full goal in the corner already. So, yeah, that's a full goal in the corner already. So they fill up that goal right away. So they're still up right now. They're up by a lot actually, right? They have that auto bonus, the three goals, three top, uh, four top rings, right? Yeah, definitely looking really good. So now, what do you think should happen? Do you think? Do you think? Uh, uh, do you think this team should? Uh, uh, was it Power Beans should push this goal back? And then just like pass it to Barkbots while and, and then fight for this goal, because there's so many goals here oh. that, that they can totally fight for one of these goals. Like he, they can just push this goal back, give it. To, uh, so basically, what happens is 
What I'm, what I'm imagining is that Power Beans drives back, right? While they're driving back, they release their clamp, right? The momentum will carry the goal out of their clamp a little bit past where, they, where they're going to like de-accelerate and accelerate the uh, other direction, right? And then BarkBots comes out the corner a little bit, turns around, and grabs that goal. What do you think? I think a little bit simpler approach is just to just to get a pin on a power beam to just pin that person. Right, and that's also really yeah. They, that's, they, that's, that's, they do the whole five second pin, and then in that time, BarkBots is able to come out of the corner and grab that goal, and then come back in that five seconds. That is really smart. I remember you were talking about that during our, our states, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But they do none of the above here, and um, and Power Beans actually gets pinned by the Blue Alliance. Yeah. Right. He gets pushed into this goal, which act, which means that this goal can't be grabbed by by Bark Boss. You see them missing the grab there just slightly, and now that positive corner is fully exposed. Right. Bark Boss kind of kind of hyper focused on this goal now, even though the positive corner is open with such at the beginning of the match. Right. A huge sell, especially at the beginning of the match. So. I think. It's it's really easy to tunnel vision like right at the start of the match yeah. like you need to get the third goal as fast as possible yeah. which isn't necessarily true because you need to make sure it's safe first yeah. and, and also here, I mean, here is it could have sure totally been it. recovered though even by by power beans right because they pull back right uh, when I saw this I was like wow okay so they recovered this already right a very quick recover but uh, I thought but then they they, they decided to go right and go into <laughs> they're going for a tier three hang now very early mm -hmm. tier three hang. But they leave the corner wide open again, and this gives uh, this gives Garage Productions enough time to, to just steal that goal away, right? So full, full, yeah. full, full goal. But they also make the misplay of leaving this early, right? Because you shouldn't, you don't want to leave this early. A minute thirty three seconds left. You want to just stay in that corner, right? Make sure that Red Alliance has no corners, right? Because if Blue has even has two goals and the Red Alliance has no corners, they win, right? But mm -hmm. but but this Blue Alliance kind of gets a little too. A little too much uh, wanting of those points, but I think it's I think that's that's valid though because they did, I, I, it's very hard to notice that your teammate got that goal like so because you know they're they're leaving like right now they leave to get yeah so like it's pretty much the second they go the teammate gets it they kind of try trying to get more rings right I guess they haven't noticed that their teammate got that goal yet but that gives Bark Barkbots enough time to take control of the other positive corner right so you can see that uh, that's heavy uh, metal rush they're trying to set that goal over with unable to do that unfortunately another great play out of garage production though i think their driver mm -hmm. was the world champion last year for middle school i'm not sure but you can see them doing a great move here on on power beans even though power beans was trying to flip that goal over right to no avail there dropping that goal very also very good play out of our power beans all these drivers are super good but yeah we skip forward a little bit. We can we can notice a, a DQ here though, so we can see that this goal. Hold up, I think it was a. Uh, I think it was a little bit before this. I think the goal got tipped right here. The goal got tipped, and they tipped the goal back over right. So, fortunately, that was a DQ. Yeah. But the refs did not call that a DQ. So that'll be the first match right overall. I think the main. What do you think the the main takeaways from that first match was? My takeaway is really just don't don't make you don't need to make super risky plays at the beginning. Uh, Especially if you're goal. if you're up like, auto, right? Yeah, uh, like only I think risky risky plays are only necessary if you're down. If you're if you're up, then I mean yeah, there's right. no point in taking that risk, and I mean that risk is what lost them the positive corner. Yeah, because that was a full in the negative corner. If that wasn't the negative corner, they would have won that match. So yeah. And in, in this match, right, we're gonna see see Barkbots and Power Beans pretty cleanly clearing this match. So we'll just watch how how this first seed alliance does that. Once again, their autos hidden pretty cleanly. Power Beans there, very very good auto. Do you know why they? Do you, do you think you know why they didn't decide to score that wall stick on? Because that definitely gives them a big advantage at the start of the match. The Oh, like like putting it fully on. Yeah. Uh, I think my only guess would be they're worried they they want to get the screen as soon as possible. Yeah, but with but with uh, both but, of these blue alliances having goals, I don't really like. I feel like I feel like they have some time to spare. Well, what what I would do if I was uh, that middle blue robot is is immediately drop that goal since I'm down and then go for that red goal and from there this if one? they don't get there fast enough. I can first of all just back up into their positive corner, or 
I mean, I, I get that third goal, and it's harder for them to recoup since yeah, so, they are as a goal. So and what are you saying here? You drive for forwards, and you would turn right and then go backwards, right? So forwards, back, backwards into this goal, and then if there's an opportunity, you would just push this goal all the way to the corner? Yeah. Yeah. Or I mean, or if I can if I can pin them to where they can't get their goal in, or it's a really bad goal, then then I would keep them there. Yeah. So I don't know. If, I doubt you would have gotten into that positive corner before Barkbots did, but you definitely would have gotten that goal because they, they did not go that way, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not likely you got the positive corner, but if their auto, if their like ringside auto doesn't hit, then maybe they take a little bit extra time and then you can take advantage of that but yeah. it's always just a safe bet to just apply that pressure on them because they have to play a little bit more um like yeah. conservatively they now this match the, the red lines time. makes a lot less mistakes here right very quickly getting that upper hand those three goals and and the far wall staker as well right early advantage for the red lines now, now, now blue's kind of kind of cooked right so you can see that you know, I, th I think I think the main takeaway from these final matches is that like you can still do a lot even if you don't have wall stakes, right? You can like this the, this team here, right? You know, as the corner robot, right? Corner play robot. You don't really, you can't really score much wall stakes, but you can do a lot of defense, right? That, that's exactly what they're going to be doing here, as the as the corner bot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but you can see the garage productions though going kind of kind of ham on that far wall stakes there, right? Without red contestion they're just kind of filling that up most of the way finally though you have to power power beans scoring a top stake and i think they dc there for just a second which allowed garage protection to get one more run right so i think that that's filled now and on the bottom this this blue alliance right even though even though this is filled with red rings all they're doing is just pro just protecting this from getting scored out more right so now, yeah, I mean, now, yeah. there's nothing really they can do. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this is still probably the the best what the best thing they can do, right? Because both of these red lines yeah, are controlling definitely. goals, right? So definitely, I mean, they right now, I I would try to go for those two blue rings just because they're not really close to you, and then you can just score those extra points, and it's not really. Oh, and they, they do go and do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't. Never mind. But. <laughs> Yeah, that match was a was forty three to thirty, red lines right. So definitely, Barkbots and uh, Power Beans cleared that up pretty pretty effectively. That match right after to losing the first one there. Anyways, let's go to the let's go to the last one. So this is a this is one this is for all the all the marbles right. Whoever wins this match go into worlds. And here They're you can see, yeah, you can see that Blue Alliance Auto here kind of whiffing, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they don't they don't pick up the goal. But the red, win, lines, did... the red lines the red is so, so they, they are so. Do they win this match? Yeah, they win this Does match. Blue win? win. Blue wins the tournament. They win California states region two. Off I of this starting position. It, this this setup should be an insta loss for blue. Yeah. I I don't remember what mistake was made because there has to be one. Because in this oh it was it was red getting DQ'd. Oh right, they definitely won off points right. Yeah, cause because like yeah. all they have to do like they can they can just they can take their time and even score this wall stick at the start because blue has only mm -hmm. one goal control. So let's see what red does here, right? I mean they can also that's, that's exactly honestly, what they, just what go they do. for the positive corner as well. Yeah, that's exactly what, what they do. They go for that right away wall stick and plays a plays a screen again. Right, it allows Barbot to get that full goal once again, <laughs> and they're gonna just they're gonna fill all because they know that they don't really need a, to. To be to rush that fast this match since blue doesn't even have that many goals right so they can just uh oh i was gonna say they can just do their thing but blue is actually pretty good at uh at getting that third goal you can see them getting that pretty fast there even though being down so much at the start right but now yeah now that's power beans all they have to do is just just sit, sit there right make sure blue can't get that full goal into the corner and they should be good right after winning auto like that all they need is just one more win condition and they has to have it in the bag but on the top there, that's that's uh, Grouch Productions. They're, they're doing a great job of just clearing those rings and putting it onto onto the top there. And one thing I'd like to mention is that is that there isn't that many blue rings on the field anymore, right? So they have they have to come all the way down to get the the ring down here, right? So that might prove to be an issue for the blue lines later on. But yeah. 
Do you think it's I mean, a mistake that's why for, really for like Power Beans to not play Wall Stakes like early, that, like early, uh, like the other alliance did? Um, it's kind of hard to see in the moment because, like, what they're doing, they're damn. What are they? Doing? I don't know if they thought they they were going to get into the positive corner, but there's a lot of times, at least for me, where when I get to, they have a bad positive goal, and it looks like they do. Um, I'll just sit there so that way they can't make a switch or mm -hmm. or fill it up in any right. way. That way it stays a bad positive goal. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily trying to get in there. Yeah. But what I, guess I will that say, was the, that was the smart thing to do. But, as... but one thing here is that you see how Bark Boss is trying to score on that on that goal there. Yeah. I think that's what they they got DQ'd for. Oh yeah, yeah, because they actually entangled with the robot. Yeah, is them trying to score on that goal, right? Mm -hmm. It's very hard to tell who's who's winning what, uh, at what time, right? But I think, I think they can they can pretty decisively call this a red win, even even from here, right? Yeah, because they they know they want auto, right? So they can pretty decisively call this a red win. They have a much more filled positive corner goal than blue, right? And they have mm -hmm. they have they have one of the win conditions, right? and the other one's tied. But they know you know they they know they have a little bit more a little bit little bit more rings than blue does, right? Because they have two full goals. Blue has has one right and these two pretty much add up to one so mm -hmm. kind of a kind of a fumble on, on their end I'd, I'd say but hard it's hard to notice for sure so maybe your drive maybe drive coaches if you're watching this then i'd pay attention to, to what's going on but this is definitely a very unfortunate dq for for the red alliance here all right